Now the first carry for Ty Montgomery. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I think many people thought Ty Montgomery would automatically go back to being a wide receiver this year. But it appears he's going to stay at running back. I know they drafted Jamal Williams from BYU, but Montgomery proving his worth. And he proved it, yeah, proved it last year. 5.4 yards per carry, fourth best in the league. On second down, Montgomery. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. That's complete to his tight end. This is Lance Kendricks. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field has popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. No matter whether it's offense or defense, because there's usually rush coming, and he's taken down. My goodness, was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> well, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. To throw, it's Rodgers. And the pressure gets to him again. Calais Campbell. In there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Bortles now on first down. Escaping the pressure right. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. This is Leonard Fournette, and he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. He'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Throwing his Bortles on third down, eluding the pressure right. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Blake Martinez. And the return will stop right around the 25. For the Green Bay Packers, they're coming off a 7-9 and nine season as their offense makes their way back onto the field. But with that 7-9 season, Charles, saw their string of eight straight playoff appearances come to an end. It was just weird not to have Green Bay in the playoffs, right? Yeah, you kept searching for them, didn't you? You kept looking down the list. When does Green Bay play in the playoffs? Because <laughs> you're so used to it. But with the injury to Aaron Rodgers that knocked him out for so long, the offense really struggled. Finished 26th in the league in total offense. In a lot of ways, remarkable they finished 7-9. and nine. Yeah, and Brett Hundley came in, tried to do his thing. I don't think it was much of an indictment on the play of Hundley as it made me appreciate Aaron Rodgers more. I think we all did, and I do believe that the head coach, Mike McCarthy, was trying to fashion offense and also take care of Brett Hundley in the beginning, and that made things easier for opposing defenses. And he comes back with one complete. And they get 14 yards there and a first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. That's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They go play action for Montgomery, and now Rodgers. He completes it to Jordy Nelson. Touchdown, Packers! Jordy Nelson, 56 yards, and the Packers have taken the early lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off... I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in Big Sky Country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there, and off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Crosby on now to kick it away. 
Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. And they're definitely showing blitz here. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Ten yards there. Good enough for the Jags first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Eight yards to go here on second down. Now Bortles. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A big one there for the Jags. 18 yards, first down. On first down, Bortles. Flush to his right. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Here's Bortles to throw. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Allen Robinson, 36 yards. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Fielded about a yard deep. Oh, good move. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Play fake to Montgomery. Now Rodgers. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. 23 yards on the play. First down. Here's the run with Montgomery. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. And the offense lining up first and 10. Rodgers going to give this one to Montgomery. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. 
It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here he's one has to absorb the contact. And as a result, I mean, and he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. So the D-line's going to spread out. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. It's caught. Nelson. <laughs> A big hit. Knocked down sideways. 20 yards on the pickup there. And the Packers are going to have a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Touchdown, Packers! Jordy Nelson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Packers have taken the lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Jaguars getting set to go. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. It's a gain of five on the play. Here comes the D swarming to the line. Working from the gun, it's Bortles. It's caught right side, it turns. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. That goes for a gain of 31. Bortles now on first down. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. It's Nick Perry with a pick. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard. Maybe from you. I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? <laughs> yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Throwing now is Rodgers. Trying to get it to Cobb, and it's intercepted. Picked off here by Aaron Colvin. And he will not get all the way home, but he will take this back down to about the two-yard line. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Mercedes Lewis, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. 
that a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. An incomplete and excellent play downfield. Should have been picked off, really. But second down instead. Well, partner, I guess that answers the question about whether they're going to sit on it or not. <laughs> it does. Now we'll see if they try that again. Yeah, I think what we find on plays like that, when you take that shot, if you're unsuccessful, then you go way more conservative to finish the half, you know? I think Jordy Nelson all by himself. Touchdown, Packers! Jordy Nelson as the first half is winding down. And the Packers are able to strike quickly for six. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Oh, incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it there. And it'll be second down. He's got to be kicking himself right there. His team's already picked off two passes. That would have been the third in the game. And boy, they've really played well attacking the football. Bortles will try again on second down. Looking deep downfield. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Then it's Ha Ha Clinton Dix with a pick. And he will be brought down as time is now run out on this first half of action. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Out come the Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? And a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Bortles again here on second and ten. Wide open receiver complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A big one there for the Jags. 18 yards, first down. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They'll toss it to Fournette. And he works his way forward for about four, up to the midfield stripe. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Again, it's Fournette. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole that plays there quickly at the end. The pitch to Fournette, and this one goes nowhere. 
Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Now they'll throw it. Bortles. Flushed out right. They find some open field here. And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. On that play, as you saw the route start to develop downfield, I got the sense that maybe the run would set up for him. And he took full advantage of it and got a big gain on a busted play. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. I like the call. Inside the red zone, running the toss. Why? They want to get to the edges. They want to see if guys who don't normally make a lot of tackles are willing to actually do that. That usually means the guy's at the cornerback position. He lost two there, and it's third down. And the pursuit that time was absolutely top-notch. He was looking to try and turn upfield somewhere. Kept trying to find a place. Somewhere never showed up. From the gun on third down, Bortles escaping the pressure right. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little, and when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate, and in doing so, sent this one off target. They'll try to get something going with Ty Montgomery. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. they got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Packers. Ty Montgomery, 71 yards. And the Packers add on to their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, you know, the second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Jaguars' offense now heads back onto the field. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Throwing on first down is Bortles. Eluding the pressure right. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. Now Bortles throwing on second down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the former first-round pick, Demarius Randall. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. They go play action here on first down. Steps away. And his
this throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for the tight end, Lance Kendricks, there. And it's second down. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Now he'll let it go deep right side. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. Back now in Jacksonville. It's Jaguar football, but a little work to do for them. They trail here as we start the fourth. Start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And some room to roam now. And nothing but daylight ahead. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A great play there. 63 yards. And the Jaguars have cut it back within a score. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So you know, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Are there tendency breakers on defense? All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do to slow down the onslaught? But the biggest thing is make sure these guys encourage each other. Pick themselves up because right now, it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as of late. Now a run with Montgomery, and he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Rodgers hands to Montgomery. And some space here. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. I think this defense tired of seeing him run the football. This D-line probably getting sick of the O-line as well. And as I'm watching this, I'm thinking about a conversation I had with Adam Gase, the head coach of the Miami Dolphins in the offseason. He told me that he asked his running backs each week for their favorite runs. Give me your three top runs. And right now, you're seeing a guy that's probably using his top runs to great advantage in this game. He is in a zone. On play action, it's Rodgers. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Yannick Ngakwe in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Now a play fake. Rodgers. Flush to his right. And Nelson's got it here right side. And he'll go down at the 28. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped a yard or two short. And it's fourth down. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. And his kick is good. Didn't hit it all that well, but he got enough on it to put it through. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So a big one there is that gives him a little cushion. And you know, here in the fourth quarter, the fact that they were able to bleed some time off the clock, 
and put points on the board, even if it's only three, that could turn out to be the drive that ultimately wins them the game. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Portals on the give to Fournette. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Bortles to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. Definitely desperation time. This just looks like, hey, throw it down there. Hope that your guy can make a play. You want him to make a play, but if not, maybe you get a pass interference call. And you know in the NFL, that's a spot foul. You get all that yardage. That would be a big play. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now Bortles, got to have this one. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time.